What's up guys? I'm Tom Straker and this is Tasty Business. <laughs> Today, we're gonna to be making mac and cheese. Not just your ordinary mac and cheese, but it is just your ordinary mac and cheese. I just think mine's better. To make this mac and cheese absolutely banging, we've got five types of cheese here. Cheddar, Gruyere, mozzarella, parmesan and pecorino. All adding different flavours, different sort of like textures when melted. It's going to be unctuous, it's going to be delicious, it's going to be hot. I'm also using sourdough breadcrumbs to go on the top. And I'm also using this, it's not the classic macaroni shape, but it's, it's a lovely tubular pasta, it works beautifully. It's called tubetti rigatti. And obviously to bind that all together, we're going to be making an absolutely banging bechamel. Really thick, really well cooked. It's not going to split, it's absolutely beautiful. I mean, this is proper comfort food. It's literally, you can't get more comforting fatty than this. It's literally carbs baked with cheese and cheese sauce and bah, 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 bread, lovely. Let's do it. All the cheeses, just gonna grate them together. Parmesan's really rich. The pecorino is also, it's like it's slightly tangy. We've got the cheddar, that's, so it's the majority is, is cheddar, mozzarella. Oh my God, the bigger, I might actually just dice that mozzarella because it's nice and fresh. It's pizza, pizza mozzarella. So it's just gonna give that lovely cheese pull. Gruyere, so same amount of Gruyere as, as uh, cheddar. 50 grams of mozzarella, 50 grams of Gruyere, 50 grams of cheddar, 25 grams each of pecorino and parmesan. Now we're just gonna make the bechamel. So add the butter, 50 grams of butter, let that foam. And then we'll add the flour. You just wanna cook that flour out for a couple of minutes. Don't let it burn. This is the exact consistency we're looking for. And then we'll start to add the milk slowly. Keep whisking. Starting to thicken up again. We're just gonna add in the last bit of that milk. Once this comes to a boil, that is as thick as the bechamel is gonna get. See now, it's starting to bubble. That's the thickness we're looking for. That's the thickness we have achieved. And we're just gonna carry on cooking that for a few more minutes. Bechamel's cooked out. It's just a case now of seasoning it up and that seasoning come, is coming from the cheese. Good grating of nutmeg. Not, not a huge amount, like a quarter of one of those. Black pepper. A tablespoon of, of Dijon. Oh, God. That looks, that looks cheesy. I haven't put any salt in yet. So it's not gonna require a huge amount. Refrain from putting too much salt in, especially when you're using a lot of cheese. I mean, look at that, it just looks cheesy, gooey goodness. Next up, we just need to cook the pasta. Only needs a few minutes, so we don't want to overcook it. Pass out of the water. Chuck it into this bowl. I mean, this just looks so smooth. It's the key to the key to the mac and cheese. It's smooth, sexy. Ooh, just want to dive in. Coat me in that cheesy liquor. That's sort of what we're looking for. You know, it's not doesn't want to be absolutely swimming, but it does want to be well coated. At this point, you can put it into any receptacle you want. You can bake it in one big batch. You can. As I'm doing it, I'm just gonna do it in a small saute pan. No breadcrumbs, a bit more of the cheese, pair that mozzarella over. And then we're gonna go another layer of breadcrumbs. It's thin layers, thin layers. These breadcrumbs, old sourdough loaf just blended with a bit of olive oil. It's gonna crisp up nicely. There we have it, macaroni cheese. Now for baking, if you're going in a home oven, you wanna go in at 250 degrees, okay? Hot. We don't want to bake it for hours. Oh, where have they come from? Brighton. I'm going into this pizza oven, which is at about 320 degrees, and it's just got embers. If you're cooking it in a pizza oven, you don't want flame, because the flame's just gonna burn the breadcrumbs straight away. So you just smash it straight in the middle. The Mac Daddy. It's looking good. So it's baked 12 minutes, 10, 12 minutes. Let's look, it's bubbly around the edges. It's crispy on top. 
And that's what we're looking for. Look at that cheese, cheese pull. Mm. It's mac and cheese. It's simple. It's a classic. But we've done it. We've done it well. Lot, lots of different flavors from the cheeses. Super nice bechamel, crispy top. It's an absolute winner. Can't go wrong with it. Super warming, super rich. I need to sleep after this. It's why we like winter, because we get to eat stuff like this. Something that's like a hug. Keeps us warm from the inside. Otherwise, winter's pretty shit. 